Hi everyone, it's me Kamika and I'm here with the Project Share and the project that I'm going to share with you guys is an altered matchbox dresser that I made and first I used the Kaiser Craft Romance oh, True Romance, I'm sorry and let me show you guys I put some alley trim around the bottom some flat back pearls I got from Gisela some of this braided trim that I got from Anna my cell phone's going off. I don't know where it's at. And I used uh, this, well, these acrylic flowers. Sorry, I bumped the tripod. These acrylic flowers and some recollections bling and some of these Michael pearls. I love the Michael pearls. And some glue strands, as always. So, let me show you the all around. This is one of the sides with the little bird. I love this paper collection. This is the third project, I think. I'm done. I'm not going to use it anymore because I'm sure I'm out of the 12 by 12. I have the 6 by 6, but I think I like the 12 by 12. And on top, I use the paper with the Eiffel Tower. Love it. Okay, so you already know. Oh, this is how I finished it. I use these spools. I had like a smaller feet, but it just wasn't working. So I hope these make it in shipping. I have to like put bubble wrap all underneath. Anyway, so on top, let me show you a closer look. Okay, so on the back, I use the eyelid trim. I put some pearls, and these are I am roses and wild could craft flowers. And I use this. Uh, Rosette trim, the 2.5 and the smaller one. I got those from One Little Dreamer. And I punched the Martha Stewart butterfly and put some pearls. You see I'm so cute. It's flying. Okay. And this rosebud came from Jazella's store as well. But it's Wild Look at Crafts just as this is. And this is a blitzy bling. And I put some pearls back there. And I put a butterfly. And this is a cameo I got from Elegant Embellishments. And the, well, the frame and the cameo came from D. And I put a doily under here. Let me see if I can move it back. I cut it in half. It's like half over here and half over here. And I put some more bling and some pearls. And I also use, this is a Prima spray. I got it on sale at scrapbook.com. Okay, so in the drawers, um, this was an uh, altered matchbox tag, and we're supposed to make handmade embellishments. I still have to make flowers. But in the inside, I covered the insides with paper. All the insides are the same, just different color papers. And see, I pushed it up. Sorry, that was my dryer. I punched the hole and stuck it, pushed it through with some E6000, and I put some gesso. Gesso's on everything, except for my flowers. I like the pink that they were. But this is a gift box that I made. And I didn't use acetate. I used, this is transparency. Which is fine. It's just, you know, presentation is everything. So, and those are my stick pins in there. I used some Jesse James beads. Some other beads. Some cute beads. Some square beads. They came out cute. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have closed the drawer. But they fit in the drawers perfectly. So if you guys want a tutorial on how to do the box, I'll show you. Okay, so I push that in. In this drawer are my dominoes. Oh, I think they all are covered in the same. That's how slow I am. But I did some dominoes, some big ones, the wood ones, and then some of those teeny ones. I love those. And this is so cute. I think the presentation is amazing. And in this one are my bottle caps. Let me, I can move it to the side so you can see. These are pieces from the collection. They have like round pieces that are perfect for bottle caps. And this one, oh, my clothespins. And I have to go watch a few videos to make flowers. But these are my clothespins. I got five different size clothespins. Fat ones, skinny ones, thick ones, teeny ones, teeny, teeny, teeny ones. So, yeah. So, that's the matchbox that I made. And, yes, this is why the next time I'll make my own drawers. Because once you add pattern paper, 
yeah it's a little tough but I like the way that these are not coming off because they're that tough to get out it's sticking I wear a stain anyway let me move that to the back and show you guys what else I made to go with the box I made this prima doll tag this is my first tag I think I made or it might be my second I have both sets and I don't really play with them so this was the perfect way so, um, I am Roses, Wild Orchid Crafts, Rosette Trim from One Little Dreamer. Uh, I got this bow, um, idea, well, tutorial from Bona, Live Love Scraps, one of the Julie the Paper Bag doilies. I cut it in half again. There is no reason to put a whole doily behind something when you can't see it. It's a waste of a doily. You know she only get them certain times. Anyway, so this little flower arrangement, some blings. I paper pieced her dress, her shirt, and yeah, I color her skin with my Copics. I guess I did it right. I don't know. It doesn't matter. As long as you put your best effort. So yeah, some flat back pearls behind here. And a piece from the collection is a joy is not in the things. It is in us. Which is so true. And I left the back plane. I guess I'm going to put a message. Maybe. Yes, I am. So, that's one of the tags. I'll leave it right here so you can look at it right there. And the next tag that I made is for a swap. Another swap I'm in with Anna. <laughs> it's a forever swap. Anyway, um, this one is more vintage. And I use the... I can show you. I have my papers just sitting here. This one. And I love it. And the funny thing is, if you're still watching this video while I'm showing this, this is funny. Put Vintage or More in the comments below. And I'll do a giveaway because I have another one. I'll send one lucky winner this paper pad. So if you're still watching, type in Vintage or More for your chance to win. But I use this for this tag, and everyone is dying over this paper collection. I love it. Anyway, this is the tag, and it's funny because I still got pink, and it's so vintage. I just put some Distress ink, and I made another one of those bows from Bona. And I actually made these out of a 6x6 six six paper. It wasn't easy. To, I mean, well, it wasn't hard to tweak it. I cut another doily in half, got one sticking out here, made a little flag some uh, seam binding and I paper pieced her dress again and I color her skin with Copics and I put some brown twine around the thing. I have twine and never used it so this was the perfect opportunity. Some little mini flat back pearls I got from Jazella and these are all Wild Oak and Craft flowers except for the red. I think the red is I'm Roses. So yeah I love this. Anyway it was so much fun to get back to crafting because I've been on a little break so these are the projects i've been working on now since i'm done my third video for today i can craft anyway thank you guys for watching have a blessed day bye